So the third question that I got quite a lot recently was about management of batteries. So um, I put out some some videos recently about the the strategy around how uh, how I manage my batteries, and I got a ton of questions from you guys. But the question is is AI and battery control. Now there's a number of different ways you can do this. Um, there's a great video if you haven't seen it. Um, again, once the live stream is complete, I'll put links to all of these videos in into the description. Um, Gary from Gary Does Solar, which if you're not subscribed, great channel, a lot of great information on Gary's channel. Um, he did a video a long time ago talking to uh, Trevor Southwell, and he produced a piece of software called Predbat. You can tell it's an engineer because the name is dreadful. It means predicting batteries or something like that. But Predbat allows you to basically hand over your control to a system. You, you need a little computer to run this on and it will figure out what's the best way to optimize your batteries, when to charge, when to discharge, when to, to force discharge to make you some money. Um, by all accounts, a really great system. Um, again, I'm a, I'm a bit of a rogue programmer. Um, I do like to look at other people's source code because that's the way I learned to get, be a better programmer. I've had a look at Trevor's code. Um, it's amazing. It does all sorts of things. The problem is I'm a bit of a control freak and I'm not quite willing to hand over my system to the AI, mainly because I want something to do and it would just take away all my fun of figuring it out. But we're starting to see other uses of, or other people implementing different ways of using AI. So if you've got one of the, the SIG Energy or, or Sige Energy, I don't actually know how you pronounce that company, but um, they, with their batteries, now have an AI component in their software that can do a lot of this, obviously specifically to their batteries. And if you want one of the supported batteries and you're on Intelligent Flux, then you can hand over control to Octopus's system and they will decide when to charge and discharge uh, from your battery. So uh, yeah, lots of opportunities depending on whether you wanna go the full tech geek route with Predbat or you just wanna do the sort of safe route with Octopus or something in the middle. Me personally, I get a lot of pleasure out of managing my system. Um, it's become a hobby. Um, I probably spend way too much time looking at graphs and charts and figuring things out, but I enjoy it. So I'm not yet willing to hand over to the AI to do that. At some point, the AI might decide it's taking over and I have no say in it, but that's a whole nother story.